For extra commentary, let's bring in New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. Congressman, welcome. Oh, it's great to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, let's uh, start with asking you this. What do you make of the increase in the, uh, the smuggler arrests? Well, you know, we, we know it's going to happen. This is an administration, uh, you know, speaking to a constituent, and we're counting up the numbers of ways this administration is just hurting its constituency, the American public. This is one more way. And by the way, this is also a lesson in be careful what you wish for. You know, we have these states before they realized how serious this all was, like California and New York and New Jersey. And they all said, oh, they want sanctuary cities and they want sanctuary states. Well, now they know what it's all about. Ones that should have to be stuck with it, particularly California. He loves it. They should be stuck with it. Um, we're destroying our country. We're not obeying the rule of law. Um, Republicans in Congress have come up with legislation that deals with all these issues, all the way to reenacting the state of Mexico, Mexico policy, to having policies similar to what Title 42 is, to having policies that would make sure that you were immediately expedited back, um, and of course, finishing and building the wall and putting the technology in. This isn't rocket science. This is purposefully done by this administration. I don't know wh why they want to put this pain upon America. I believe it's because they want to change the fabric and the culture and the life in America. But it's just another way they're hurting this great country and our people. Well, as a follow-up, uh, as we know, there was a recently a big shakeup at the border. President Joe Biden named a new Border Patrol chief, 27 Border Patrol veteran Jason Owens, currently leads Border Patrol sector in Del Rio, Texas. In a statement, Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas called Owens a talented, selfless, and inspiring leader who was dedicated to Border Patrol's law enforcement mission. In your view, was this a good choice, and is it going to make any difference at the border? Well, the truth is going to be in what we see as time goes along. But we've got to be fair, fair to him and all the Border Patrol agents. They're not allowed to do their job. It's catch and release. They're not allowed to make sure that these people are sent back to where they come from. They're not allowed to make sure that we have real policies that that actually works, that we really do asylum the way it was meant to be done. Asylum has become something now where anybody, particularly if they're not comfortable where they live or aren't making enough money in their own country or for whatever reason can come and ask for asylum in the United States. That is never what it was meant for. Again, that's wrong. Law coming across our country. It's getting worse and worse. And what we're doing to children, what they're doing to their children, how the cartels are being established in the United States of America. All of this are issues that we could deal with in Congress and should and have in the House, but have not in the Senate. Of course, the president doesn't want to deal with it. And all of it is fixable, but they're not allowing the Border Patrol to do it. They're so frustrated. They're so tired. They're doing their jobs. Um, but, you know, we're just not allowing them to really do the jobs that they need to do. And we certainly know that there are people getting across the border that are on the terror watch list. How scary is that? And a lot of them are getting through. We're ruining our country. We're hurting our people. This is just one of many ways, by the way. But this is the one we're speaking about today. And it makes me angry. I'm tired of it. Americans are tired of it. Congressman Jeff Andrew, thank you so much for your time this Sunday morning. We have a lot more to discuss when we come back. 